Welcome to another Ask Excite. I'm Tim Bushnell with Expert Cytometry, and today's question comes from Terry. And Terry asks, should I use an isotype control in my staining panel? Now Terry, that's a great question, because isotype controls have a long history in flow cytometry. The theory behind an isotype control is that if I take an antibody with the same isotype as my target antibody, but has an affinity to an irrelevant target, I should be able to identify the nonspecific binding of my antibody due to the isotype. This is supposed to then let me set positivity. The problem with that is that it makes a set of assumptions. The first assumption being that there is no nonspecific target on my cells of interest. The second assumption it makes is that the nonspecific binding of my isotype control is similar, is the same as my target uh, antibody. The third is that they have the same F to P ratio. Now, unless all three conditions are met, you have another experimental sample that you're adding to your mix, and it should not be used to set positivity. At best, the isotype control can tell you if you've had good or bad blocking, and that's about it. In fact, in a paper published in uh, November of 2016 by Anderson and co-workers from Aarhus University in Denmark, they elegantly illustrate why isotype controls are not useful for setting positivity. And they even, even go on to look at best practices and best reagents for blocking in their system. It's a great paper and I recommend you look at it. Now, I don't recommend the use of isotype controls. I don't uh, see the value that they can provide to your uh, analysis because you can't use them to set positivity. The best you can do is use them to determine whether you've had good blocking or bad blocking. Thanks for another Ask Excite. Until next time, be sure to keep up with your flow cytometry best practices right here with your friends in flow, Tim and Team Excite.